guitar time. I'm Robert Knoll, and this video is an instruction on turnarounds. Let's first understand what turnarounds are. When we have 12 bar blues, usually the 11th and 12th bar of the 12 bar blues is what we call or refer to as the turnaround. Turnaround means turn us around, bring us back to the beginning. So this is a term that's been used for a long time. So let me demonstrate. I'm quickly just going to play an A shuffle, and I'm going to do what I call the, um, the standard turnaround, the classic turnaround. So if I'm doing A and I'm going A, first measure, and then I go a quick change to the D, second measure, then third measure, fourth measure, the fifth measure, six, seven, eighth. Here comes the ninth measure. We go to the E, the five chord, then the four chord on the tenth. Now here's the turnaround. A to D, A to E, and then we're back to the beginning. So that A to D was the eleventh measure, and the A to E was the twelfth measure. That turned us around. It brought us back to the beginning. Now there are other types of or ways of doing a turnaround, I could simply, the most simple basic way, would be I'm coming from the E and I'm coming to the D. Now here comes my turnaround and I decide just, I'm going to just going to stay on the A. Two, three. Now I'm back to the beginning. So there's some something nice about that simplicity sometimes. That we don't even make a change. It has its own beauty. But we should also look at another turnaround that maybe we're going uh, from the ninth measure, E. Let's say we're coming in from E to the D, 10th measure, and we go to A, one, two, three, four, and then we just go directly to E without going from A to D. We just stay on the A when we would be playing the D for those couple beats, and then we go to E. And that's a very um, important turnaround that you will hear. And you should know about it and be able to do it. It's nice to have different turnarounds because you can take a, a what might be a mundane uh, shuffle or patterns, and then every time the turnaround comes around, well, you may want to keep it the same, but you may want to change up. You may want to do different turnarounds. As long as, uh, you know, you're if you're in a band, you want the band, they should know what kind of turnarounds you're going to do to be able to follow you. Uh, so I'm just basically trying to show you the basics of turnarounds today. So let's say I was strumming a chord, a chord progression in A, okay? So if I was doing a basic blues strum, this would be uh, like a number one. I'm just doing a basic A7 and a D9 on the second measure. Third measure, I'm back to A7. I like to add that seven there when I'm doing basic blues. D9. No harmonic movement, just A7. I'm going to add that seven again. Here comes my E9. And the tenth measure is the D. Here's the turnaround. A7. And then I'm back to the beginning. I didn't even do a turnaround. I, I played nothing. I stayed on A. <laughs> and then I'm playing six. D9. How about a D7? D7, five. A7. E7, E9, D, here comes another turnaround, A7, to the E9, or E7, and then I'm back. Maybe you get some ideas for your rhythms. Now I'm going to do that traditional classic turnaround 
where we just go A7 to D9, the four chord, one chord, to the five chord E, and then we're back home. So that was A7, D9, A7, E9. Of course, that could be A7, D7, A7, E7. Could be A7 added, A7, 5 in the bass, A7, and then E7, 5 in the bass. Or it could be A13, D9, A9, no root, E augmented. There's lots of possibilities for those chords. We'll go over in uh, other lessons coming up. But this was just to give you an idea of the turnaround measures and the importance of knowing 12-bar blues, understanding that you have 12 bars, and that's a standard classic way of playing blues. Now, also I should tell you that sometimes I like to put the four chord or D chord change on the second measure. And that doesn't always happen in blues and in shuffles. Sometimes we could just be playing A, and instead of going to D, we stay on the A. So we got four whole bars before we change to D. And then we got the E. I could stay on that E, but I'm going to go to the D. A. B. A. E. quick change back to a shuffle boogie or did you learn the honky tonk honky tonk shuffle honky tonk boogie mute sometimes we mute I'm muting laying my wrist down and then a turnaround that time I went just to the A to E. So we've got to be mindful of the turnarounds. And certain artists will use certain turnarounds. Blues artists, uh, they are familiar with maybe just one that they, they use in their whole career. Or, uh, or they use a couple of different turnarounds. Or maybe they use a lot of turnarounds. But it's good to learn turnarounds. And uh, later on, in a more advanced uh turnaround lesson, I'm going to give you some other types of turnarounds with chords and uh, ideas, because the turnaround is very, very important. If you're playing really good blues, and you understand blues and 12-bar blues, you can be a great rock and roller. You can be a great jazz guitar player. Uh, so many forms, uh, genres of music, that if you're really good at the blues, you just might be better than the other guys because you've got that heart and that feeling that comes from the blues and that basic simplicity that we can build on. It's a fundamental uh, foundation that we're building with turnarounds. So I hope you learn those and I hope you stay tuned for a part two of turnarounds. And uh, you're always welcome at Guitar Time. I want you to be a great guitar player and a great musician.